Hello my dreamers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video will be a foundation try on and wear test. And for today's video, I will be trying out the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract. I'm really excited to try out this foundation because it is a dewy finish foundation and it is supposed to blur imperfections, even out skin tone. It's a sheer buildable coverage and instant and all day hydration. So if you guys know me, you guys know that I always tend to go for the full coverage or medium to full coverage and I usually stray away from sheer coverage foundations. There has been a lot of hype about this new CoverGirl foundation. And I'm really excited to try it out. It is also a dewy finish, which is my type of foundation. So I'm just really like excited to try this foundation out in general. I have been wanting to try to find like a lighter coverage foundation anyways, just because lately I just want to go for a more natural look. Um, so yeah, I guess this is kind of like a BB cream style foundation. So that's why it's sh more sheer, but um, I'm I hope that it will be buildable like they claim it is. This is also a drugstore foundation, so it was $9 at Target. But yeah, enough babbling with this. If you guys want to see me try out this foundation, and I'm going to be doing it for the whole day. Uh, so right now it is currently 4.36 p.m., but I will be wearing it for the whole night. If you guys want to see that, then you know the drill. Keep on watching. I just primed my face with the Elf Luminous Putty Primer. Um, and then I will be going in with the foundation in a beauty blender. So I did get this in the shade light. They didn't really have a lot of shade options. They had like fair light and then they had light and then light to medium. And I feel like I was more on the light side. So we'll just have to see how this performs. It's really liquidy when I pour it. I can definitely see that it is not really covered at all. So I always have a lot of blemishes on my cheek area on this side here, so I can definitely see that it does not <laughs> cover it at all. is how it looks like after applying it uh, I really don't want to go any more further with the coverage just because I don't really want it to start caking or anything like that it was really easy to apply blended like nicely obviously the coverage is not full so you can kind of see my blemishes but nothing a little concealer can't help and then I'm just going to blend out with my concealer I'm going in with the elf hydrating camel concealer This is how it is with the concealer. I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. Bronzing with my Marc Jacobs. Go in with my e.l.f. blush. Just a little bit of flush to the cheekbones. Anastasia Beverly Hills brought back the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, which I was so happy about because I actually broke mine. But when it came back, I bought it because I knew I needed it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be digging into Forever Young, which is this shade right here. You see that? It was so easy to apply. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy this came back. I 
this had a little bit of the highlighter in my inner corners and then we're going to finish off with the lips i'm going to apply my lipstick from charlotte tilbury in the shade pillow talk all right and this completes the look i'm just going to spray my favorite pretty fresh setting mist And with that, this concludes the try-on portion with everything like my concealer, the powder, the blush, and everything kind of just came well together. So for right now, my skin looks really fresh and really nice and I'm really liking it so far. I will update you guys at the end of the night and see how this foundation wears. Alright guys, and I'm back after 6 hours of wear time. I didn't really do much, obviously, with the whole craziness that's been going on. I was just at home, um, watched movies, I ate, um, and yeah, I am really liking how it's looking. So like I say, I only wore it for six hours, but I am really happy with the way it's still staying intact on my face. So yeah, I do want to wear this more obviously and i am going to i'm wondering how much longer it will last on my skin of course my nose area is always the first to go so that part's already gone but everything else is still looking really nice and yeah for like a very light coverage i'm really impressed i don't know if it's due to also like you know my concealer and the powders that is helping it stay on for this long but um so far so good i give this uh five stars for now but i will continue to wear this foundation and see if my mind changes or not and yeah i will let you guys all know if that does change but for now i am really happy with it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and i hope you guys will pick up this foundation and try it out um, I'm always on the lookout for new foundations, so if you guys have any recommendation of new foundations or just any old foundation to try, then I would be happy to try them out. I'm always on the hunt, like I said, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of my little family here on YouTube. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!